So SSI alone in adults with an FLD may reduce the hepatitis steatosis, but its ability to improve other aspects of the liver histology remains unknown. So SSI alone is not sufficient uh, for the weight reduction, so we have to consider about the diet plus exercise. So uh, these are the, the, the drugs now we are, we are having, but uh, I, I like to mention a little bit about the drugs because the drug is only uh, the uh, data part of the management of the inequality. So pioglitazone, you know, the pioglitazone, uh, this is a uh, insulin uh, sensitivity increase and then efficacy is very high, but we have a weight gain, fractures, heart failure. The main thing is there is no definite demonstration for the improvement of the uh, dash and the fibrosis. Uh, the similar activity, vitamin E, uh, this is the antioxidant, uh, efficacy median. Uh, we have a risk of the prostate cancer, uh, stroke, etc., hemorrhage, etc., and then UTCA uh, and the antioxidant and cytoprotective drugs. Uh, the low efficacy, uh, side effect non. The liraglutide, liraglutide is weight loss and then uh, low efficacy. The only thing is the GI side effect. So nowadays, uh, liraglutide is a little bit common in, in treating the nephrology with the diabetes mellitus. Uh, and then uh, pentoxifylin, pentoxifylin plus or minus uh, uh, low, very low efficacy and the GI side effect is very common. The olistates, olistates is a, a weight loss medication and then efficacy is very low and then GI side effect. And finally, we have a obedicolic assist. This is a very good medication, not only approved by the FDA, and the, we have a, a very high uh, 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 rationally and then uh, multiple aspects and management of the uh, nephrology. Uh, efficacy is very high. Uh, the side effect is uh, pruritus and some changes in liver metabolism that improve, that increases uh, the cardiovascular risk. So the last portion, so there are no proven drugs for the definite effect on the non alcoholic fatty liver disease, NASH and the fibrosis. So nowadays, these are the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the ASLD guideline uh, recommends only the diet and lifestyle modifications, uh, which is very important for the management of the nephrology. We have uh, 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 the, uh, some uh, uh, the novel drugs uh, like uh, elephant ribinol. Uh, some uh, 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 salon satip or some uh, 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 sericribulosic, etc. So these drugs are the, the novel drugs, but uh, they have uh, still on the phase three trial and not uh, approved by the FDA. So let me explain a little bit about the, the, the drugs, the medicines. Uh, metformin has no significant effect on liver biopsy. It's not recommended as a specific treatment of the liver disease with the NASH. So uh, although the metformin insulin synthesizer, it is uh, very uh, common in treatment of the nephrology with the uh, diabetes mellitus uh, that did not improve the amino transcripts or liver histology. So uh, this is only useful for the uh, diabetes with the uh, nephrology. Pagletazone. Pagletazone is the treatment of the steatoc hepatitis in patient with biopsy proven NASH. If you treat the uh, NASH with pagletazone, it should be biopsy proven. And, and then uh, it should not be noted that the majority of the patients with uh, clinical trials uh, with the pyogletazone, uh, these are the non-diabetic and long-term safety and efficacy of pyogletazone in NASH is not established. So only in the, uh, some diabetic patient uh, with the uh, nephrology in NASH, uh, the pyogletazone is uh, improvement in nephrology school and then the uh, fibrosis, but recent meta-analysis that includes five RCD showed that pyogletazone significantly improves steatosis inflammation, but not fibrosis. So fibrosis is not improved by the pyogletazone. Vitamin E, you know, now we are promoting a spectra E. This is a kind of vitamin E. So vitamin E administered at the daily dose of 800 IU per day improves liver histology and non-diabetic adults with the biopsy proven NASH. So we need a biopsy proven. So, uh, I mean, otherwise, uh, the uh, vitamin A e is not indicated for the treatment of the uh, nephrology or NASH. Uh, so, uh, uh, first line pharmacotherapy for the patient in some population, and uh, vitamin E associated with decrease in amino, amino transferases, improvement in steatosis, inflammation, ballooning, and resolution of the steatosis hepatitis. Uh, but there is no effect on hepatic fibrosis. So, if we have a fibrosis, 
uh, vitamin E cannot improve the fibrosis, only the decroinflammation and some resolution of the non echolistia to hepatitis. So until further data supporting the effectiveness, vitamin E is, is not recommended to treat the NASH in diabetes patients. So if we have a NASH with the diabetes patient, vitamin E should not be recommended. What about the UDCA? Now UDCA is not recommended for the treatment of the NFLD or NASH. Uh, this is recommended by the uh, ASLD. Uh, large multicenter trial showed that UDC offers no historical benefit over placebo in patients with the NASH. So UDC is not useful for the treatment of the NFLD and NASH. What about the omega-3 fatty acid? It is premature to recommend omega-3 fatty acid for the specific treatment of the NFLD or NASH. And then large multicenter study of the one omega-3 fatty acids equals a pentoic acid to treat the NASH is ongoing. So there are some uh, study which are ongoing, not, not uh, uh, results coming out. So we, are, we have to wait and uh, see whether omega-3 is useful for the NFLD or NASH. And this is very important. This is surgery for their weight reduction, so bariatric surgery. And uh, forgot bariatric surgery is not contraindicated in otherwise eligible obese individual with NFLD or NASH. That, that means we can do the bariatric surgery if we cannot control our weight, our weight and the weight reduction is a little bit difficult. So in patients with a probable or definite NASH at baseline, there was a significant improvement in steatosis, ballooning and nephrology at school and resolution of the probable or definite NASH at one in five years following their bariatric surgery. So bariatric surgery is uh, very useful for the reduction of the weight and then improve our uh, nephrology and uh, steatohepatitis. The type and safety and efficacy of the full gut surgery and otherwise eligible obese individuals uh, with the cirrhosis is established. So actually, uh, in, in, even in the cirrhotic patients, uh, uh, still bariatric surgery is useful. And it is premature to consider full gut surgery as an established option for specially treated NASH. Uh, so a little bit uh, 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 premature, but uh, if we reduce the weight by doing the surgery, that will definitely improve our uh, nephrology and NASH. What about the alcohol? I think uh, Professor Bumi Joshua Tu and uh, Dr. Nyumi already mentioned about the alcohol, but no recommendation can be made with regards to non-heavy consumption of the alcohol or heavy or at risk drinking as more than four drinks or any day, more than 40 drinks per week in men and more than three drinks on a day or seven drinks in a woman. So, they have a little bit, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, reduce uh, the amount of the alcohol uh, uh, for the Nepali patients, but uh, uh, actually uh, no recommendation is still made for the uh, alcohol in the treatment of the Nepali. What about the statin? Statin is actually, this is a, a lipid lowering medication. And statin can be used to treat the dyslipidemia in patients with Nepali and NASH. So if you have a dyslipidemia, statin can be used but if you do not have a uh, dyslipidemia, no evidence for the chronic liver disease, and nephrology and NASH are high risk of the serious liver injury and uh, statin uh, without liver diseases. So uh, if you have a ser uh, some uh, chronic liver disease, statin use is a little bit cautious. CFM, caring for well-being.